everyone. Are you able to hear me? Okay, good. Welcome. I wanted to play, well, actually, I wanted to play something different, but my daughter was like, what are you trying to play those songs from 10 years ago? So she agreed that I should just play this. So, um, but um, I cannot hear you very well if I have this playing, but uh, are you, can you check in with any of your family members that are doing this stream to see if it's working for them? Maybe I'll just pause this and just say hello as people come in. You can unmute yourselves and say hello. And I see other faculty professors and Colette is here, advisor, which you all know. Just say hello and we'll wait a few minutes until everybody, um, until more people have had a ch chance to join us. It's really good to see you. Yeah. Gives me deja vu from a year ago. <laughs> Let's see, who do I see here? Hi, welcome. So as people join us, uh, we'll wait another minute. I just want to keep welcoming you all. It's really good to see you. Um, and I see some faculty here and I see a lot of you graduating. And also this is exciting this year because you have a graduation next week as well. So that's really awesome. Uh, last year, this was the only thing we did, but it was really, really um, meaningful last year. So um, I hope that you're all um, going to get as much out of it this year from this graduation and then the live, the live, this is live too, the in-person one uh, next week. So uh, we'll just wait a little bit. I think, I think most people are here, but I just want to wait another little moment. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so good afternoon, everyone. I think we will go ahead and get started. And thank you for wearing your regalia if you have it. Uh, and thank you for joining us. Um, welcome to the second virtual graduation for liberal studies, um, class of 2021 this time. I would like to invite you to keep your cameras on uh, for the duration so that we can all uh, see and enjoy each other. And uh, before we begin this special event, 
Uh, I would like to invite us all to take a moment and express our gratitude and appreciation to the original inhabitants of our various regions. So I will, uh, I will read this acknowledgement and I want you to, all, to also reflect on these words. We acknowledge that this virtual graduation celebration is taking place throughout the unceded territory of California, home to nearly 200 tribal nations. A land acknowledgement is a critical step towards working with native communities to secure meaningful partnership and inclusion in the stewardship and protection of their cultural resources and homelands. Let's take a moment to honor these ancestral grounds that we are collectively gathered upon and support the resilience and strength that all indigenous people have shown worldwide. I am currently hosting this event from my home in Oceanside, California, which is on the traditional unceded territory of the Lucinio Poyomkoyshum people. Thank you, everyone. As you saw in the program, um, to start this event, we have our esteemed Dean Elizabeth Matthews, whom I see here, and she will say a few words. And then, um, then I will say a few words and we'll go through the rest of the program. So Dean Matthews, thank you. Thank Welcome. you so much. Hello, everyone. Hi, graduates. I'm so excited for you. Uh, and I am so excited to, to be here. This is I've spent so much time in the last year plus not seeing students. And so I am so thrilled and excited to see all of you. And I'm so happy for all of you because I know this is a huge moment in your lives. Um, so I first just want to thank Dr. Bateman and I want to thank all the liberal studies faculty. I see many of them uh, here. I need to flip my screens because there may be others, but I hope that all of you know, all of you students here know, that your faculty in this department are amongst the most dedicated and compassionate group of faculty who work here in Chabs. They care so much about your success. They cared so much about you while you were here and they will continue to care about you after you've graduated. So I just wanna thank them so much for everything they do, the commitment they have to your learning and the commitment they have to your success in life after college. So thank you all uh, for everything that you do. And then to our wonderful and amazing graduates, I really am so happy and so uh, proud that you are graduating with a degree in CHABS and you all have overcome so much to be able to get to this point, right? I know that the last year plus, right, there've been so many issues trying to do your classes from home, trying to work, trying to take care of your families, and all of that as well during the dual pandemic of COVID-19 and racial injustice. And yet here you are, you persevered, you have made it to this point, and you are going to get a degree from Cal State San Marco. So I am just so happy and so proud of each and every one of you. And I know this wasn't exactly how you expected this last year plus to go, right? Your senior year in college, you probably did not anticipate that, you know, anytime you saw anyone uh, at the campus, it was going to be on Zoom uh, or some other platform. And so I know it's not quite how you expected it to be, but I hope that none of that diminishes the pride that you feel in your accomplishment because you are achieving a tremendous milestone in your life. So take the time to reflect on everything that you've accomplished and thank your family, friends, and loved ones who helped get you here because we all know this accomplishment never happens alone, right? So I know that all of you had support system. So be sure that you thank them for everything that they did for you while they're lauding all the praise on you and giving you the flowers and the hugs, right? So be sure that you thank them uh, for everything uh, that they did, because this really is an enormous accomplishment. There, only 35% of Americans age 25 and over have a bachelor's degree, and you are now going to be amongst that percentage. So you have accomplished something that not everybody does, right? In fact, a relatively small percentage. And so remember that as you think about all of the hard work that you put in, all of those all-nighters to study for exams, all those papers that you wrote, 
Think about the fact that you have done something truly special and accomplished a truly amazing milestone. So I hope that I see some of you either or at the parade or at commencement so we can celebrate you uh, in person. I understand if that's not possible for you. So if it's not, please know that we are celebrating you and we are so proud that you are graduating with a degree from Chad's. So go Cougars and thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Dean Matthews. Um, so I would like to now say just a few words on behalf of liberal studies, uh, faculty and staff. Um, so some of it is going to sound um, kind of repetitive. It's become um, this thing over the past year to say that you've overcome so much and you all have overcome so much. Your class of 2021, you've been in virtual learning for nearly three semesters. Some of you, most of your time at Cal State San Marcos has been virtual. And I wish that it had been different. I wish that we had been able to see each other more in person. Um, I know some of you that I've had in class before and I'm really honored to, to, see, to see you here. Uh, and I'll miss you. I know we'll all miss you as you graduate. When we saw the list of graduates, several of us were like, oh my goodness, all of, all of these people that we know, they're graduating. But we are very happy that you're gonna be out there in the world graduating. Um, this year, you've, this past, these past three semesters, you've attended countless Zoom meetings and here you are in yet one more. So thank you for taking the time. Uh, you know, your time is the most precious thing that we could ask for. So I, we all really appreciate that you're here. You have worked, many of you have worked full time. You have taken care of families. You have taken care of yourselves. You have um, taken care of friends. You still managed to read countless pages, write countless discussion posts and forum posts and responses and papers and still manage to work in groups virtually and do presentations on, on Zoom or some other online platform. So you truly have accomplished and overcome a lot. Some of you have also suffered great loss over the past year. And for you, uh, this is a bittersweet moment. And, um, and I hope that you are all very proud of the work that you've accomplished and that you know that all that everyone is very proud of you. I know we are all very proud of you. So the vast majority of you are going to enter one of the most important careers that I can imagine, that of being an educator. It's a job whose critical importance often goes unrecognized publicly. This has maybe changed over the past year. We all know that learning cannot just happen online. We all know that we need teachers. Um, everyone needs teachers to be in the classroom with their students. And we've all had that teacher in our lives that has made that big difference for us, that has helped us become who we are today, who have shaped us. So those of you who are gonna become teachers, you are now going to be to become that teacher for countless of other students. Others of you are doing, are taking other paths in life. And um, the more I teach and the longer I'm here and the bigger the distance sometimes gets between me and my students, the more hope I have for our world. Because I see with each generation uh, that you all have such a caring spirit, a generous spirit. You have, you're creative and thoughtful and you really want to make a positive impact in the world. So I want to encourage you all to take what you've learned, take the good, take the bad, and go out there and use everything that you've learned to make the world a better place. So on behalf of liberal studies, uh, all of our faculty and staff and advisors, I wanna congratulate each of you and you can unmute yourselves and just give each other uh, a round of applause. Okay. So usually what we do when we have this event on campus, uh, we, we always have um, student speakers from different programs. And this year we have three student speakers that I, would, I will uh, introduce uh, in turn. And uh, I want to, um, and after we have the student speakers um, say a few words, then we will recognize each graduate. And because we don't have, um, we don't have all of our graduates here today. 
Others of you who want to say something, say thank you to your families or whatever you want to say, you can take a few moments after that to, um, to say a few words as well, after we read all the, recognize all the graduates. So first I would like to introduce Caitlin Bergen as our first speaker. Caitlin grew up mostly in San Diego County and transferred from Palomar to Cal State San Marcos in 2019. She's graduating magna cum laude and she'll be entering the credential program in the fall to become an elementary school teacher. Please help me welcome Caitlin. Hi, I'm Caitlin Bergen. My time at CSUSM has meant so much to me. Being here, I have had the opportunity to learn so much from some amazing professors and the knowledge I have gained over my time here will be invaluable to me in the future. My experiences here have shaped me in wonderful ways and I will always be grateful to my mentor and the professors who encouraged and supported me. As a transfer student, I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I first stepped onto this campus. I quickly learned that CSUSM was like nothing I had ever experienced before. Over the two years I have been a part of this campus, I have learned and discovered so much about myself and as much about myself as I have about the subjects in the classrooms. I have felt such a sense of belonging and I am proud to have had the opportunity to find my place on this campus. Although my time as an undergraduate student is quickly coming to an end, my time at Cal State San Marcos is not. I look forward to continuing my education at CSUSM next year in the teaching credential program. And I'm excited to keep learning, growing and taking those next steps towards being the educator I know I can be. I cannot wait to see what lies ahead for me in my education. Maybe your next step looks like mine, or maybe it brings you to someplace new. I hope you all find your way and find the happiness and success you seek. This year may not have been what any of us had envisioned, but we should all be proud to have persevered and made it to this moment. Whatever your path may look like or your future may hold, rejoice in this accomplishment, be ready for what lies ahead and be thankful for those who have supported you along the way. Also take a moment to thank yourself for daring to dream and working hard to make it here. My experiences have taught me to celebrate even the smallest victories in life. And when you accomplish something big, you should celebrate all the louder. So celebrate this achievement and celebrate it loud because you have accomplished something significant. Thank you. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you. Yeah, you can feel free to give love in the chat to each other there. Um, our second speaker is Jessica Mendoza. Is Jessica here? Okay, there you are, great. Um, Jessica was raised in San Diego and now lives in Colorado. So thank you for joining us from Colorado. Um, she transferred to CSUSM from Palomar College and she's also a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success and a proud dog mom. So let's hear a few words from Jessica. Hello everyone, um, I'm Jessica Mendoza. I want to first say congratulations to all the graduates. You're moving on to the next step of your adventure. For my, it's so relieving after 10 years of trying to get college and very moment. I kept moving around trying to figure out where I belonged and what my purpose was. And that resulted in me moving to four different states and attending five different colleges. But it wasn't until California State University, San Marcos, that I actually just focused on my journey. And being the stubborn person that I am, I have always had trouble asking for help. And when I came to this school with that attitude, I ended up realizing I was completely lost and confused on the steps you're supposed to take as a teacher. And I had no idea what I was doing and I was so afraid of failing, but thanks to this school, they really 
offer every opportunity they can to ask or to help for you to ask for help. They are there for you. And I am just so grateful because this school has literally helped me conquer that attitude of mine and open up so many opportunities for myself. And they really guided me in the direction I was wanting. And as a future educator, I never really fully understood what that meant until I came to this school. I was taught what it really means to be a teacher, and I really appreciate it. Because coming from a family full of educators, I had a lot of expectations on myself. And thank you for this school, because, and especially the faculty, like Elizabeth was saying, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for the amazing faculty and teachers, especially you, Dr. Bateman, who's been so patient and so kind and a great teacher to end the semester with. I know I bombarded you with so many emails asking for help and needing classes for requirements. And I kept thinking, oh, I am so irritating this lady. She probably can't stand me, but no, she was patient and kind every step of the way. And you, you are a prime example of what this school offers. It offers so many people who are just there to help and want to help their students. And especially in this pandemic with everything online, everything's been so hard, and yet you've all been so patient and so kind. And I truly appreciate it. You've opened up so many doors for me. I know who I am as an individual now, and that's thanks to the faculty and this school. And I really appreciate every step of the way. So thank you, and thank you to all the graduates. I'm so excited that we are finally here, and I finally get to quote Elle Woods from Legally Blonde like I've been wanting to for so long, and we did it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> thank you, I love that, yeah. Actually, we just, my daughter and I just watched Legally Blonde like a couple of weeks ago, so that's very fresh. <laughs> Um, and last but not least, I would like to introduce Caitlin Kentenwine um, as our speaker. Caitlin was born and raised in Corona, California. She's a first generation student and attended CSUSM all four years for her BA. For the past year, she's also been co-president of the Future Educators Association, and many of you I know are part of that. And she's excited to start the program of education specialist credential in the fall at CSUSM. So, Welcome, Caitlin. Thank you, Dr. Bateman, for the introduction. First of all, I would like to thank the Liberal Studies Department for holding this event. I, as well as all of my fellow classmates, are grateful for this opportunity to celebrate this accomplishment with you all. These last four years at Cal State San Marcos has been some of the most influential and exciting times of my life. Although this last year was not what we expected, we all pushed through until the end, and we should be very proud of ourselves. I would like to give a special thank you to my mom and dad for supporting me this entire journey. I love you guys, and I couldn't have done it without you. Um, I had the honor of leading a student organization this last year. Uh, some of you may know Future Educators Association. This club has brought me so many unforgettable memories and opportunities. I'm grateful for this organization and all the friends that I've made along the way. I'm excited to see what their future leaders have in store. Um, I'm honored to continue my education at Cal State San Marcos. I'll be attending the Education Specialist Credential Program this fall. A special shout out to those who are attending creden teaching credential programs in the future. I would like to congratulate all of our graduates Let's celebrate this accomplishment together. The best of luck to you all and in all of your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. And now uh, we are going to recognize all of our graduates who are here today. Um, and again, I will, I will ask that at this time you can unmute yourselves and we will have faculty from our department read off the names. You know, you've all put the slides in there. Um, so they will read the names one at a time and we'll pause and we can cheer. And, uh, and after that, then you can say a few words if you would like. All right. So let me share my screen. Uh, unless, yeah, I'll share my screen. Okay. 
Okay. So congratulations, class of 2021. So we'll start, you'll walk across the virtual stage today and then you'll walk across the physical stage uh, next week if you're going to be there. Okay. Jasmine Alvarez, Liberal Studies BA and a Depth of Study in Linguistics. Eulalia Juan Alvaro, Liberal Studies, Elementary Subject Matter, BA. Go ahead. You guys are allowed to unmute and make yes. noise if you want to. Yes, make totally noise. Go for it. Make like, noise. Make noise. You don't get to do that in class all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany Anaya, Liberal Studies Elementary Subject Matter BA, Magna Cum Laude. Miranda Arias, Liberal Studies BA, Minor Linguistics, Minor in Education, Magna Cum Laude. Oops, did I skip something? No. Narain Barno, Liberal Studies BA, Elementary Subject Matter, Depth of Study in Reading, Language, and Literature. In the rain. Oh. <laughs> Caitlin Bergen, Liberal Studies BA, Magna Cum Laude. Uh, Katie. <laughs> Caitlin Cantonwine, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study, study in Psychology. Mm. <laughs> Amber Carruth, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study Spanish. <laughs> Katrina Ceballos, Liberal Studies BA, minor in Geography. Kelly Constantine, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Studies in Border Studies, minor in Global Studies, summa cum laude. Kelly. Kelly. Gabby Derabertus, Liberal Studies, Elementary Subject Matter BA, Minor in Linguistics, Magna Cum Laude. Yay, Diana Flores, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in Social Science and History. Hey, Diana. Ruby Jimenez, Liberal Studies BA, Minor in Linguistics, Summa Cum Laude. Yay, Ruby! <laughs> Claudia Lopez Garcia, Liberal Studies BA, Linguistics Depth of Study, Magna Cum Laude. Rebecca Harper, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in History and Social Science. Woo, go Rebecca! <laughs> Rebecca! Noah Jagers, Liberal Studies, BA. Katie Johnson, Liberal Studies, BA, Magna Cum Laude. Go, Katie. Put on, Katie. Go, Katie. Annie Klotz, Liberal Studies, BA, Depth of Study, Math, Summa Cum Laude. Yasmin Tatiana Martinez, Liberal Studies Elementary Subject Matter BA, Minor in Education, Depth of Study in Psychology, Cum Laude. Ulisa Martinez, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in Sociology, Cum Laude. Hey, Ulisa. Jessica Mendoza, Liberal Studies BA. Araceli Bautista Mesa, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study Human Development, Minor in Education. Yay, Araceli. Lauren Morgan, Liberal Studies BA, Honors Recognition. Lauren. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> Madison Robertson, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in Biology and Physics. Cum laude. Madeline Salerno, Liberal Studies BA. Howdy. 
Claudia Y. Solis, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study Human Development. Sierra Julia Vivanco, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in Linguistics. Caitlin Marie Ledger, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in Psychology, Minors in Communications and Educational Studies. Hey, Caitlin. Marilyn Durbin, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study in Human Development. Go, Marilyn! Salvatore Posilico, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study Mathematics. Hey, Salvatore. Yes, Sal. <laughs> Hallie Montgomery, Liberal Studies, ESM BA, Depth of Study in Social Science and History. Yeah, Hallie. Hey, Hallie. Hey, Hallie. Jenny Morales, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study Mathematics. Jenny. Woo! Christina Zafra Lopez, Liberal Studies BA, Depth of Study Psychology and Minor Psychology. Kaylee Lachey, Liberal Studies BA, Summa Cum Laude. And this is all that I that we had on this um, in our slides. Did we miss anyone? We missed Sierra Vivanco. We <laughs> did. Did did you did, say your name? Did I skip the slide? Nope, it was me. I missed it. Yeah. I was busy reading names. I'm pretty I... sure you said it. You said it, Justin. Did I? Yeah, you said it. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> I was so worried. <laughs> <laughs> did we miss anyone that that didn't get to make a slide? I will completely own it. I did not make a slide, didn't have time. <laughs> Still working on those papers, but I am here and wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it, but I'm here. Yay. Congratulations. 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 <laughs> Hi, Jocelyn. So nice to see you. Good to see you too. And Professor Schultz, I saw you, saw you in here too. Um, don't see you now, but hi to you too. Ah, there you are. <laughs> hey. Hey. So we have, we have everyone. Okay, I wanna make sure we didn't miss anyone. Okay, so congratulations to everyone. And now, you know, we have some time. If, you, if anyone would like to say a few words to each other, to your family, just uh, unmute yourselves and you can, you can say a few words. Yeah, I'll say something. Uh, <laughs> um, you guys can hear me, right? Yes, go ahead. Okay, perfect, perfect. I, I just want to thank my family, but most of all, I want to, I want to thank my wife. I would not be here without her. Uh, it's been a long journey for me. It took me 20 years from when I started college uh, to now. And even though a part of me wishes I had graduated in my early 20s, I would not have been a teacher. Uh, those t These last 20 years, these struggles that I've been to, uh, uh, in a way, um, made me who I am, and I think I'm, I'm better for it. So um, I just want to thank all my professors. Some of them are in here. Uh, uh, it's never too late to, to, to go back and finish school. Um, I felt that way for so many years, but it, it's not. It, there's always time. It, it, there's always time to, to kind of start over and, and, and do what you love. So um, I just wanted to thank everybody. Thank you. Well said. Hi everyone. Um, I wanna give a shout out to my family for all of the support that they've given me. And then I wanna also make a special shout out to Professor Allers for all of the knowledge and just all the great stuff that we went over in her class. And thank you so much, Professor. And it's really nice to see you again. Good to see you too, Lauren, congratulations. Thank you. Salvatore and Lauren, thanks for giving me the guts to talk right now. Um, I'd like to first and foremost thank all of my professors. Thank you for the inspiration, for your example. As future educators, we're all learning, but we're also observing. Um, and like Salvatore said, it's never too late to, to go to school. I, I always say I did things backwards. I got married, had children first, and then one day just kind of woke up and was like, I need more. 
I need more in my life. And there's nothing like gaining knowledge and just, I feel like I learned so much about myself through this experience. Um, I'd really like to thank the Future Educators Association because when we were on campus, I really felt like a lot of support and information came my way, like important information. So thank you so much to all who are a part of that association. Thank you all. Hi, um, I would like to thank everyone for being here. And it's been a good two years at Cal State San Marcos. I was a transfer student and I feel like I found my place at Cal State San Marcos and I loved every class I took. It was very knowledgeable and like a time that I actually, I love going to class. I guess I could say that compared to community college. Um, I looked forward to it. Um, the professors were very kind. They, were, they gave you your time if you asked for it. And I would like to thank Mr. Schultz, Professor Schultz. I really enjoyed your classes. I wish I could get, I wish I could have been in more, but sadly I couldn't. But thank you for everything. I guess I can go. I just want to thank everyone for being here. And I just want to thank my friends and my family, and especially my boyfriend who helped push me. And also all the professors that I had. I've had like, I've had, there's three professors here that I actually have this semester. And I appreciate all of you guys. And especially all my past professors. And that's about, thank you all. Um, so I guess I'll go. I just want to thank um, all my friends and family for supporting me along this uh, long journey. And then I also want to thank my professors for getting me here and all the other faculty. Um, Professor Allers, I'll never forget all the mindfulness you taught us. So I really, really appreciate that. And then um, Professor Saltz for always keeping it real, probably one of the most realist professors I know and inspirational. And like Diana said, I wish I could take more of your classes, um, but thank you everyone for everything. Um, I'll go real quick. So I just wanna give a huge shout out to my family and friends that supported me throughout the whole journey. And I want to give a special shout out to Miss Colette, our advisor, because honestly, without her, we would not have made it to the end. So thank you. So I'll go. Um, I can't thank the staff and faculty enough. I can't thank my parents enough who helped me. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get emotional already. <laughs> I haven't even started. Um, Salvador, I, I empathize with you. I'm right there with you 20 years later. You know, I woke up and knew that I had to finish and do what I wanted to do and get my degree, but with children and family. And um, Professor Allers, you watched it happen. There were days that I brought my children to class. <laughs> I knew I had to be there and I um, needed those participation points. And if I missed a class, I wouldn't have been as successful as I could have been. And I would have missed so much of your knowledge and your mindfulness. And um, you're not the only class I brought my kids to. So um, I appreciate you and so many others who allowed me to be as I am and still, um, go for my degree because without your guys' understanding, Professor Schultz, you dealt with a hot mess of COVID. Um, you know, I went to him multiple times, tears, crying, just emotional, needing support. And he was there, he listened. Um, we had coffee talks that got me through. Um, college for me was really great until COVID hit and you guys picked me up and supported me through the hardest year and a half of my life. Um, but I'm here and I did it and I've been accepted into the credential program and um, the kids are going back to school. So that's all good. <laughs> um, uh, Professor Bateman, I love your laugh <laughs> at that. Uh, they're not back yet, but they'll go back in fall. So I will be able to complete that program with CSUSM. And I'm so excited with so many of you who are, will be joining me. Um, so thank you, everybody. And I have had so many classes with so many of you, and I love seeing your faces and your smiles. And um, congratulations to all of you.
Um, I'm at work, so I hope it's not too loud back here, but I just want to say thank you real quick to everyone. And I, I couldn't have done it without so many of you, Lauren. I love you. And I'm so grateful. Jocelyn, you, you've changed my life. You've changed what I want to, how I like the kind of teacher I want to be. And you've inspired me so much and Rich, both of you, you guys helped me. This year has been so hard and I couldn't have done it without you guys. And I'm so excited to go to the credential program here and especially with a lot of you and be the amazing teachers that our kids need. And I just love you all. Thank you. I'll say a few words. I'll make it short because I'm also very emotional. Um, but I just want to thank um, all my uh, professors. Um, same professor, others. I am so grateful for you. Um, I spent a lot of time in your office hours and um, you were very patient with me and I'll never forget that. So also a lot of love to uh, my family that are watching. Appreciate your support. Congratulations to everyone. I'm gonna follow. I feel like I'm gonna get emotional too if I talk too long, but uh, I just wanna thank my family uh, for the constant support and all my teachers. There have been some tough nights, many crying of emails, many of like, uh, I don't think I can make it, but you guys have always supported us and inspired us. And I wrote on my grad cap that it's my turn to teach after you guys have taught us for so many years and it's our turn. And I wish you all amazing good luck time in your guys' future. I just wanted to say congratulations, everyone. And thank you to all of the professors and faculty. You really have supported us throughout our academic journeys. And you have done so much that you don't even know that has impacted our lives. So thank you. Just wanted to give everyone space if you want to say something. And also any of the faculty and staff, if you would like to say something, that's um, that's OK, too, if you wanted to do that. I just want to say thank you to my family and my fiance. He has really supported me like these past like six years that I've been going to school. And uh, without his support, I wouldn't have been able to do this. And also, thank you so much to Professor Aller. She has been so inspirational. And I thank you so much. <laughs> I really hope I got all the tears out here <laughs> and I can hold them in for graduation when they actually walk. <laughs> Well, I I um I know it's hard to get the courage up to speak, so I appreciate everyone who who spoke and said what was on their heart. Uh, so I just want to say congratulations to all of you again, and um, I'm really excited for you to be going into this next step of your of your lives. Um, good luck with the credential programs. Good luck with everything that you're doing. I know you will be you will do great. The passion that I hear and that I see in each of you. It's just so real and tangible. So I know you will do great. Um, so congratulations again. And we'll just stay here if you wanna hang back and chat informally with, uh, with, with each other, with your professors. Um, I will go ahead and end the stream. So thank you to everyone, all of your friends and family who are watching. Thank you for your support of all of our graduates here and uh, also have a safe and happy summer. So I'm gonna end the stream, but I'm gonna stay on here.
so you can congratulations you guys you all rock nice job yeah let, let's all actually just unmute and just kind of cheer and clap make make noise at the end let's make noise okay ready okay. Congratulations, everyone. Bye. Bye.